Good evening everybody, it's the Saints Man, the small van driver on the CX. Uh, it is Wednesday night, it's Wednesday the 13th, it's 5 to 8. And this is my uh, journey as a small van driver from Monday to Wednesday. I've uh, worked Monday and Tuesday, I haven't worked today. I had the van serviced, I've had some massage on my back which is improved it immensely just in the short time uh, going back to Monday I'd already got a load on from last Friday uh, which I picked up Friday night to go to Norwich Monday and drop that load off in Norwich right in the centre of Norwich it was a department store um, independent department store uh, right in the centre of Norwich cobbled streets lucky small van got there no problem uh, I aim to get there for about 8 o'clock to get it delivered and then sit in Norwich and hope to pick some up. Now the Covid's are not going to Norwich, I didn't expect there to be many small van drivers around and I thought if I could get there, first job, I'd be prime position to get a second job and just get on the road early, miss the traffic. I actually got there about upper state in the end. I left about quarter past six in the morning and I got there about upper state time I could find it. Uh, quite a difficult place to find the store, the, the actual... Um, where they delivered from. It was a really old building around the back, but found it okay, delivered that. I got £87 for that, and that was just over 110 mile all in. So, pretty good money. And then I sat and waited. I waited in Morrison. I know Norwich really well. Um, so, um, not that I live there or anything, but I just seem to know where the place are. Morrison's is perfectly positioned in Norwich. It's near the centre, but... You don't get a lot of work normally out of the centre of Norwich. It's near the airfield, there's industrial estates up that way. And it's all sort of around the ring road, all the work normally. But I thought, well, I'll sit in Morrison's. Uh, and I did sit. I sat from about quarter to nine, ten to nine. Went and got a coffee, Morrison's coffee, and used the toilet and sat there. Nice day. I didn't really mind too much waiting because I already got 87 quid in the bank for that day. So I thought, well, if I'm going to get a good day, I can sit here and wait and wait. And there was no small van drivers in Norwich. There was a short wheelbase, three or four long wheelbase, a couple of Lutons, but no short vans in that area. I was tempted to drive down towards Thetford, down the A11. About I normally stop at a services on the AE11. Is that right? Yeah, the A11, sort of between Thetford and Norwich. There's a services down there, halfway, which covers both. But I thought, no, I'm just going to sit in Norwich. No more dead miles. And then a job popped up, strange one. Norwich to Norwich, no mileage. And it was to put graphics on in a shop in John Lewis's to set a stand up or something that they hadn't... A, a, someone had dropped off for this courier company but hadn't set the stand up. They dropped it in, I think, Sunday, he said, when I got there. But anyway, <clears throat> it said phone. And I was the only one in Norwich, small van. I thought, well, I'll phone and see what what, what he's doing, what, what's doing. And he told me, I phoned up, and he says, it's it, you just got to set a stand-up for... Um, it was a perfume stand. He, says, he said the, the numpty had gone in, and he hadn't set it up properly. He hadn't done it. He just dropped it in there, and they, it should have been set up. He said, I need someone to go in. He said, I think it will take you about 45 minutes. Um, to do it and I said well yeah I'll, I'll give it a go I said I've got your number and he said I'll send you a photo of what it should look like it should be quite straightforward he said he says what sort of money you're looking at I said I don't know I said depends how long it takes I says you tell me what you want what you you know you're, you want to pay and I'll tell you if I can do it he offered 60 quid yeah not turning that down um, and it was less than a, it was less than a mile away it was back in the city said back in the centre bit but John Lewis is his on the corner, I've been John Lewis's before, done, I dropped some work off there, so I found it quite quick, it was less than a mile away, I said yeah I'll go and send it through the CX and I'll go and see what I can do. So, gets to John Lewis's within five minutes, <coughs> uh, parked up, told the gentleman what what I was there for and he said I'll get someone to come down to you, and got a store manager to come down who said, I said who I was from, I said I'm here to, I said there's an installation or there's something needs doing, uh, checking the stand and he says yep he didn't seem too chuffed at the start with he said he, he says your your company just dropped this it wasn't obviously me because i was a subcontractor i didn't tell him he said your company just dropped this off they didn't set it up he said it should have been set up for start of business today at nine o'clock now this is now 
best part of it, 11 o'clock, getting on for... I said, really sorry about that. I said, I says, he said, well, we've installed it. We've, we've put it up. He said, don't know whether we've done it right, but we've done it. I said, OK. I said, do you mind if I come and have a look? I says, just to see, you know, I said, I've got a photo. I'll show them the photo, what it should look like. I said, do you mind if I come and have a look and take some photos to see if everything's happy for the customer? So he did. Yeah, he, he led me there. He seemed to mellow a bit then because I was trying to be pass, pass, trying to pacify him just to say I'm really sorry about what's happened. But I said, I think, you know, it looks, and as far as I can see, it looked great. It looked just the same as the picture. I said, yep. I said, is it all right if I take some pictures and send it back to there? He said, yep. He was going to contact uh, the company I was working for and he asked me if he got the right number, which he had. I said, yep. And I said, well, I'll take a few photos if that's okay. It's just that the customer who it's worked for, it was an independent uh, perfume company. I said, as long as they're happy with it. I said, they've sent me in as an independent person to do this. Which I thought, I will tell him I'm an independent person that Fox have employed to do, to make sure it's okay. And he seemed a lot better than him. So, I didn't really do a lot. I just took photos. I took about half a dozen. Uh, I did check that it was all... It was, and it was, it was all, he looked as good as what I would have done it. So I came out, <clears throat> he let me out, threw back through the loan bay, got back to the van. I thought, first thing I'm going to do is phone the shipper up who's got me this job and say that he's likely to get a phone call from this customer. Uh, they've done it. And I said, to the, it was a girl, I said, look, I've been in, they'd installed it, I've checked it, it's all right. I took photos. She said, can you send me them photos? Because my customer needs them photos to see if it's okay. So I, I sent her the photos. And with, uh, she says, stay on site for me if you could. I went, okay, uh, till I phone you back. And then she phoned me back. She said, can you take more photos? I said, uh, yeah, can do. There's only two. She said, can you take one from outside the store? Because it was right at the window, near the window, to show that it looks all right. Well, it was reflection. The sun reflected it. So I took about four photos and she said, can you take either all round it, either as well. In the end, I took about 12 photos and sent them all off to her. And then she said to me, that's fine. I said, you may get a phone call from the store manager. She said, no, that's fine. That's good enough. She said, my customer's happy with them. So it took me an hour, top 60 quid for an hour. Didn't do a thing, really. No mileage. So that got my mileage back up. So I was happy with that. And then I was looking for... Another job then, and a job popped up. There was a job from Brandon, which was a little bit away. It was the Forestry Commission in Brandon, which is Thetford, uh, the other side of Thetford. Uh, well, you sort of turned off at Thetford, and it was to take a pallet down to Upminster, which I didn't really know where it was until I looked on the CX, and it's right near Dartford Bridge. You get off at the 28 or 29 on the M25, and it's just down there. £62, I quoted, and got it as well. I was doing dead mileage then, but because I'd earned £60 for no mileage, mileage was still OK. So, in fact, it was brilliant mileage. So, uh, that was the only job going. There was nothing in Norwich. Norwich is dead. I advise you, if you get a job to Norwich... Be aware that you may be in Norwich for a long while. Because Norwich was... On Monday morning, there wasn't a job out of Norwich. Small van job. Might have been bigger van, but there wasn't a job out of Norwich that morning. There was this job that I'd done putting the stand together. And the next job was Brandon, which was 30, 28 mile away. And it was going down to Upminster. And there was a couple of small van drivers available. I quoted 62 mileage all in was about 95 but i wanted the job because it took me to upminster which was not far from dartford bridge uh and i got the job uh so i picked this pallet up from the forestry uh place really nice really nice drive through thetford forest uh picked it up straight away and took it down to upminster he said straight away he says i'm putting the pallet on can you take the pallet with me? But there will be handball the other end. There were plants in bags, like small trees in bags. They fit in the van, no fine. And I said, yeah, that's fine. But I had to get back that night. I've got to get back, which I did. Because once I got to Upminster and tipped, there was no jobs going my way. But I got the mileage in comfortably. So I didn't have to worry about it. And I drove home from Upminster, 84 miles. But I drove Upminster back home. 
and I was home and done well uh, four four fifteen fueled up and my mileage for that day I did three hundred and twenty four miles for two hundred and nine pounds still got sixty four pence per mile and that was driving ninety odd miles I could have waited and waited but I've got to be home I've got a blood test for my diabetes because I'm diabetic type two I've got a blood test Tuesday morning at 8.15 so I had to come home, I couldn't stay out if I hadn't had that blood test I would have done another job anywhere and stayed out I'd have had a really good day but I couldn't, I'd got to go home this week and last week, it's been a bit of a messy week because I have to get home at night because I've got summer on the next day most days for the last two weeks which is a bit of a pain but hey, so that was Monday Tuesday I started off yesterday um, looking for jobs and again it was quite quiet actually to start with and I didn't get my job till oh I went for my blood test this is a corker you'll get this went for the blood test 8.15 I was due in you don't get there any earlier than 10 past 8 because they won't let you in because they don't want to crowd in the surgery I goes in at about 12 minutes past 8 I've been outside since 8 o'clock watching jobs go and she I said and she said hello unfortunately your um you can't have your blood test today because the nurse went sick. She didn't come in. We only found out at half past seven, but we've sent you a text. And I went, oh, really? So I checked my phone. No text. I said, I haven't got a text. She says, no, we send it as a group text. And you might not get it till later today. What good's that? What good's getting a text? And I got the text. I'll tell you when I got it. One o'clock. Same to me that my blood test was cancelled for this morning. For yes, well, the morning which had already gone. What's the point of doing that? And I went, right, so I'm rebooked in again for Friday. So, again, I'm, I can't do a night out. I'm going to work tomorrow. I can't do a night out because I've got an 8 o'clock blood test instead. It's crazy. But, hey, they, you know, they hadn't got anyone who can give me a blood test. I, a doctor can give me a blood test. There's someone, oh, you, no, unfortunately, there's no one here that's good at me. Oh, fucking don't get me going. So... I came out of the surgery, that was like 20 past 8, I'm really booked in Friday, so a bit miffed, but I picked a job up from Kettering to Lincoln, and it had been on there quite a while, so I put a bid in, quite a good bid, £63, and it, was, it wasn't quite Lincoln, it was about 6 miles short of Lincoln, um, for about, altogether, all in, about 85 mile, uh, and I got that job. And sure enough, picked it up. It was one box for a residential address. I think he sells on eBay or he sells some, and it was curry, and he got a few packets, and he gave me the right one. Took it to a residential address, say six miles south of Lincoln, delivered that. And because I hadn't started that early, I didn't get to catch until gone nine o'clock. So it was a late start for me. So I knew I was going to struggle to get my target of 200 this to yesterday. Uh, second job, I did pick a job up. Lincoln's a bit iffy for me, south of Lincoln. It does get Newark, but a job popped up from Retford, which was 28 mile away, 20, 25 mile away, to Melton Mowbray. So I thought, yeah, that could be good, because Melton Mowbray brings in Leicester, and I'm sort of staying close, localish, and I got it. Uh, picked that job up and got it, and it was one box from Retford to mountain mowbray to a company that delivers to ireland it was going to belfast i've got custom papers with it and all that that was easy done that easy a uh, nice drive i like driving around this area it's off the motorway you just nice it's just not all motorway and on my way to mountain mowbray i was about 10 mile away a job popped up mountain mowbray to stafford now nothing comes out of mountain mowbray not not a lot anyway I didn't expect a job to come at Mount Mowbray, but it was picking up within a half an hour. And I thought, I should be able to do that, because the postcode was very similar. So I phoned, I bid, sorry, I bid £55 Mount Mowbray to Stafford, and it was only about 60 miles. And I got a phone call straight away saying, it's really important, it's documents. It said documents and the thing. It's documents going to solicitors in Stafford. Are you, where are you? I said, I'm, uh, by then I was about five miles from Mount Murray. I said, I'm five miles from Mount Murray. I've got one box. I said, I can be on your job probably in 20 minutes. And he said, OK, but we need it going. It's got to be picked up before one o'clock. Um, and it's got to be in Stafford no later than three. 
I said, okay, and I was confident I could do it. I said, if I can't have any issues, I will phone you, but I'm sure I'm okay. Sure enough, I dropped him out Mowbray, straight away that box, easy, bang, straight in. Jumped on his job. I got there 10 to 1, and it was uh, over 55 houses. They're building new houses, uh, like a community type thing, and it was from the builders. They've got a show suite, uh, site office, and it was to pick up documents to go to a solicitor in Stafford for someone who'd exchanged and had signed all their documents to get a new house. So we took it to Stafford, put it straight in the van. I had a break by then. I've been driving, but the jobs are coming through, and I thought, this is my third job. Should be done this by about up as two, and I didn't start work till nine. So that was 55 quid. So I drove straight across. It took me up to uh, East Midlands Airport sort of way, picked the A50 up across there, into Stafford. Um, Google Maps, I used Google Maps. I've tried ways, didn't get on with it. It sort of let me down a couple of times. Google Maps has been okay. And it was in a pedestrianised area right in the centre of Stafford. But I got a phone number. So I parked up quite close, where I thought was quite close. Phoned the solicitors and she guided me in. I was only about 100 yards from the van. But it was around two of corners, streets that were pedestrianised. But yeah, got that done. And got there about 20 to 3, something like that. Rings a bell. So now I've done 163 up till then. So I'm looking for some at now own. Because again... I've got to get home because today, Wednesday, this is Tuesday, I'm going to have Wednesday, my van's been in for a service. At 8, 8 o'clock this morning, I've got to drop it off, so I've got to get home. And then I've got a massage on my back, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So, nothing come up. And I thought, Stafford, I thought, am I going to get... Any? So I drove to the M6, dead mileage, I know. And I thought, what I'm going to do, I'm, I need a break. I'm going to find a service. I was going to stop at Hilton Park, but I didn't. I'll tell you why in a minute. I thought, I need a break. I need a wee-wee. And I kept driving. I thought, what I'm going to do, I'm going to perch Corley Services between Coventry, Birmingham. And I will get. A, I wanted 40 quid job home then. 40 quid job somewhere near home, you know, somewhere closer. And that would have took me over the 200, which is my target. And I did. I drove down. I, I did pull in Hilton Park. Uh, and I used the toilet. And I grabbed a coffee. And I come out of there, and I knew I'd get in traffic in Birmingham. I wanted to get through Birmingham before the traffic really hit. A few jobs popped up. There was one Birmingham to Corby, uh, Kings Winford, which I quoted on, because I was in traffic. I quoted 45 quid. I thought that would do me. If I can get that job, Corby's not far, 20 miles from where I live. Uh, didn't get it. Uh, and I quoted 45 quid. So didn't get that one. So I just thought I'll keep driving. And I drove, and I was between Birmingham, the A38 turning. It was really slow. And a couple of jobs have popped up. I quoted on one to Rugby from Dudley. So I'd got to go back round to Dudley and pick it up. I quoted 40 quid. Didn't get that. So I thought, OK, this is the trouble. You're in a Birmingham area. There's loads of drivers, and the, the stuff goes quite cheap. So I thought, well, I'm still going to pull a cull into Corley. I'm going to stop for a bit. I ain't going home yet. I'm going to try and get me 40 quid. And then a job popped up, Nuneaton to Corby. I quoted 40 quid straight away. And nothing. I kept driving. I was getting closer to Corley Services. Well, not quite at Corley Services. And my phone went and I got the job from Nuneaton to Corby. I got asked how far away I was. I said where I was. He said, great. And he's picking up ASAP soon as and uh, there's waiting for it in Corby. I said, you send the postcode straight through, it was RS Components at Nuneaton, which I've been to once, twice, uh, pick up small packets, so I know the crack, and he gave me the reference number through WhatsApp, he gave me the job through CX, but everything was on WhatsApp, and I went to RS Components, straight in there, I was in there before four o'clock, and picked that, it was literally a small packet, Got two bearings in apparently for a machine. Uh, he gave me the contact of the person in Corby and the address and everything. He says, when you get w within 20 minutes, can you phone this gentleman at Corby? Because he wants to know the ETA so he can get someone straight on it. So we picked it up, no aggro, <coughs> and I've got me 40 quid. So I drove to Corby. Uh, and I've got a quick, easy run actually. Pretty easy run, yeah. 
couldn't even tell what the mileage was. It weren't, it was not eight to core, but it weren't much more than 40 odd. Um, I think it was about 46 miles or something. Oh, I can't remember, I couldn't even tell you. I drove on the A14, Kettering, turn left. I know the area really well, obviously come from Northamptonshire. I fish over Corby in the boating lakes now and again. So, all good. Drop that off. And I phoned him 10 minutes before I was there. And he went, great. He says, in fact, I'm going to wait for you. Because I put an ETA. I was asked for an ETA of 5.15. Thinking traffic might be heavy. And I got there at 5 o'clock. So he was really happy. I was 15 minutes early. And he literally gave it to an engineer who got the old headphones on. He'd run off with it. So he was happy. I was happy. Job done. And I drove home. And I was home... So I've got my, I've got my hound here. Look, there she is. This is my baby girl. She's interested in being on. Um, yeah, wife's still at work. It's bike night tonight. I've I've come home and done this. I left the bike night. She's still working. And the hound, my little girl here, little girl, way more. Millie, she's waiting for a burger, which Mum brings home for her later. Yes, I know. So. Back to where I was. Yeah, so I drive home. Uh, got fuel. Fuel is eased. It's a lot easier now. I uh, have no aggro getting fuel. BP garage, unlimited. So I filled up, end of my road, drove home. I was home before six, just about six, about five to six. So I did 349 that day. That's yesterday. 349 uh, miles. Uh, and I got 203 pounds. So I'm just getting over my target. Two days. Today I haven't worked because my van had a service this morning and much needed, 3,000 miles over the limit of what it should have. Uh, my great mate Daz, who does my vehicles, three vehicles, he said, yeah, it's sweet. Did a full service, oil change, oil pump filters, the whole lot. Um, good, all done. And while he had that, my wife come with me, so I dropped it in his garage. It's about, I don't know, 10 mile away. Dropped it in his garage, and in fact, not 10 miles, probably eight, seven, eight mile. And I booked a massage with a biker, one of the biker's wives who does massages and she does all treatments, physio. And I booked a session with her from 9.30 to 10.30 this morning. So Julie, my wife, Julie, dropped me off at the mass- to have a massage. And it's the first time I've had a massage uh, for a long while. I used to play rugby and have a few, but it was brilliant. Uh, my back has been still aching. I'm walking the dog, but it's aching a bit. This morning I had hot stones put on it. And I had a hot massage with hot stones and oils and stuff. And it has improved dramatically. It's loosened up. Nikki, who did it, Nikki's girl, Nikki, she said, you're really tight. The top of your back's tight. She managed to manipulate knots. Quite, quite, not painful. It was a bit uncomfortable now and again, but... It was doing me good, and she massaged the bottom of my back, put hot stones on, and it's eased the muscles, it really has. I'm booked in again, I'm going to have another session in four weeks, four or five weeks. She's that busy, that's the earliest I'll get in. So, that was all done, so I'm really happy. Uh, ready to rock and roll tomorrow, I've got nothing booked in yet tomorrow, there was a couple of jobs on there, but I didn't fancy them. Uh, one from Toaster to London, didn't really pay a lot of money. It, it got a set figure which I didn't it weren't going to do no good for me and there was another job there but it weren't until 11 o'clock so if it's there in the morning and I haven't got anything I may put a bin on it but again it's only a 50 quid job and I'm looking for something a bit further tomorrow I can actually stay out tomorrow night oh no I can't a lie because I've got a bloody blood test on Friday morning so again I'm going to be doing small jobs all around I can't really go too far because I have to get home it's been a bit of a pain this week, it really has. Blood tests and van servicing, it's broke my week up. I like to do I, you know, do a long distance job down the south west or up to Scotland, earn the big money in the week and then Friday I ain't going to faff around. I have booked a job in actually, believe it or not, for Sunday. I never work Sundays, but this one I just put a cheeky bit in. It's to go to Kettering, which was 15, mi- uh, 15 miles from where I am, pick a... Covid tests up, three Covid tests from one house and bring it back to Northampton uh, and literally where it goes to the labs in Northampton is four miles from where I am. So I worked out it was going to be about 36 miles all in, 35 miles. I'll just put a cheeky quote in, it's pick up 10.30 in the morning, so I'll leave here at 10 and I'll be done by 11, 11 for 15, 
it, it's an hour and a, it might be an hour and a half I don't think it will be about an hour and a quarter and I put a cheeky bit of 35 quid in for Sunday and I got a phone call straight away saying you're okay to do that and it literally is pick up three Covid tests from one house in um, 15 miles away 18 miles back and three miles home 36 miles 35 quid what else it's a Sunday morning I'm just going to be farting around anyway it gives me time to walk the dog do that job be home still for lunch so I booked some in for Sunday blood test Friday I'll do another video I'll probably do it Sunday after I've done the job for the rest of this week but I hope you're all making money I've got about 85 subscribers I answered a couple of questions um, someone asked me about uh, what van size to use around London in my opinion and it's only my opinion I can't think what it's called now turtle dove or something the, the, it was from in my opinion a small van is the is the way around London he lives in South East London, this, he's looking to get a small van. He's all about short wheelbase, what they are, which are Transit Customs, they're Renault Traffics or whatever they are, Vauxhall Vivaros, they're short wheelbase, but around London I think a small van is ideal. There's a lot of jobs, he's in South East of London, and he definitely needs Euro 6 because you're going to be in London doing lots of work, and this Euro 6 now, it's going to be bigger. Um, yeah. I say it's all unedited, I just put it out, I do it one take and whatever rubbish and crap comes out of my mouth in 26 minutes I've been talking. That's what you get. Um, I thank you for subscribing, I'm up to 85 <laughs> subscribers which is great. If you want to like or subscribe please do so and please share. Uh, if you've got any comments I will answer them, it's only my opinion though. I'm a bit like Pete the Courier, I give an opinion, it may not be right. But I, it's just what I what I do. It's as simple as that. So, thanks for your help. Hope you're making money. I'll speak to you Sunday.